everyone, I'm Alyssa Chappelle, and this here is my exhibition uh, titled Unexpected. I'm a mixed media visual artist, so I like to work with a combination of traditional and non-traditional materials all in one. A lot of layering, collage, wet media, dry, whatever I can get my hands on. I'm extremely interested in the psychology of expectations, and so this body of work in particular, titled Unexpected, for that reason that it explores and analyzes the various expectations that exist within our culture, within our society, within ourselves and others, and how those expectations kind of filter their way into influencing our decisions and our mannerisms, our behaviors, and our subconscious and conscious thoughts. So if you're looking at the piece behind me, for example, um, this one's called Fishing for a Wishing, and it was inspired by this concept of fishing for compliments and what we expect to hear from other people, but also what happens when we don't hear and don't receive um, verbally what it is that we're expecting from them. And so there's kind of this murky underwater environment that's created. And you'll notice there's a lot of different imagery in my work that has duality to it. So there's a lot of symbolic imagery that you'll come across that might appear one way, but there's also a deeper underlying message. And I love that sort of interplay between the real and the unreal. So you find yourself in somewhat of an alternate reality when you're looking at that works. And in doing so, there's enough familiarity to invite the viewer to come into the narrative, but then there's also enough mystery for the viewer to kind of lead to their own conclusions. And so I like to say the pieces are stage setting, but they're not conclusive, so that you're able to kind of finish the story based on your own preconceived expectations and notions of what it is that you're looking at. This piece here is titled The American Dream. So the inspiration from that was what is the American Dream and what does that mean in our contemporary culture and society? As you start at the bottom, you're kind of entering these beginning stages of life where there's a little bit more playfulness and innocence. But as you go through these tiers, you'll notice that there are highlights of different kind of pivotal achievements that one experiences. So entering the end of your life, there's often this concept of, well, what am I leaving behind? What is my legacy? What have I done? So you're really kind of judging yourself based on these expectations that others might have developed for you and not necessarily these concepts that you developed for your own happiness and what your own definition of success. and this concept of um, meet the Joneses uh, mixed with, you know, behind closed doors. And so there's sort of this suburban posting mentality of, oh, you moved to the neighborhood, welcome. Here I'm going to bring you this classic jello salad mold and I'm going to put on my best attire and smile. But I think reality of our uh, existence is that there's always more that meets the eye. And what might seem perfect on the outside isn't always quite the same on the inside. The closer that you get to the pieces and the more that you look in there, you realize that this appearance of this illusion is actually filled with a bunch of things that are not exactly appetizing, not something that you would want to consume for health. And there's that dirty laundry component seeping through. And so you have to get up close and you have to enter that world in order to see 
these little cracks 